friends and welcome back to my channel and this edition is going to be all the things that I have been purchasing through Amazon for our upcoming cruise. So for those of you who are new here we usually go my husband and I go on two cruises per year and we love Norwegian. So Norwegian is the cruise line we've picked that we will continue sailing on and we've been on the breakaway twice and this time in November we are going on the Encore. So I'm so excited to be going on another Norwegian cruise. For those of you out there, um, Norwegian does the free at sea program. So they have, um, you buy the drink package, it's unlimited drinks the entire cruise. You get two specialty dining packages, you get some internet use, you get a cruise credit for excursions. In my opinion, the service, the food, the entertainment, everything is fabulous on Norwegian. I have not one complaint. So those of you who are looking for a recommendation for a cruise line, I wholeheartedly, um, say that you should go on Norwegian, <coughs> just from my experience. But anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you some of the things I've purchased, um, some things I've recently gotten, and other things I've already had. But I know that right now it's, you know, travel seasons coming up. A lot of people travel for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, the New Year, things like that. And whether you're going in a plane or on a cruise ship or in the car, a lot of these, um, Things that I'm going to show you can work multi-purpose uses, which is what I really love. And I just want to welcome you all to my channel. My name is Tina. I do all things home decor, thrifting, lifestyle, beauty, and all the good fun girl things. So anyway, let's get into this haul. Okay, so first item up, and a lot of you have seen, I used to have like a little pink fan. I call it my menopause fan because I'm just at that age where I get hot from the neck up. But that finally broke after like three years. So $6 for three years. I definitely um, got use out of it, but I found this one and this is what it is and they have it in different colors and it has a USB port and it also, what I love about this fan is it also has an attachment and it comes with a strap. So if you wanted to wear it around your neck, you could put it on your belt loop, stick it in your shirt, you know, on right here and just have the fan wind blowing on you all day. You can do that. So it would be hands-free. Or it has this little attachment on the bottom so if you wanted to put it in a hotel like on your bedside table or something like that and you just wanted a little more air I think this is utterly fantastic so it charges with all of your other electronics and when you turn it on you can see your speed one two and three and it really feels so good <laughs> and it's a fan but it has more of like an air conditioner feel so if you're somebody who gets hot really quick or you're going to an extremely warm climate and you just want to have that little bit of air every once in a while, I highly recommend this. I got this um, maybe like a month ago. So I've been using it for about a month and I absolutely love it. Highly recommend. I think it was $16 and the other pink one was like six, but I like this one much better and it comes in green and blue and a few other colors. It has, this has the rose gold and I just loved it. <clears throat> so I picked that up. Next thing I picked up, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but for those of you who have gone on cruises before, um, your cruise walls, door, everything, um, is metal. So I bought these metal hooks. Like, I think they come in a pack of like 12. But they're just these little hooks. You can see it really good. So you just pop them on your wall and you can stick in like your um, beach bag or a towel or a wet swimsuit, anything like that. And it has all different sizes and shapes and some with little hooks. Um, but it, they came in this whole little packet. And there's, like I said, all different sizes. And I think it said it holds up to 40 pounds. So you can hang these on their, on your wall. Like if you have a baseball hat, a sun hat, like I said, a swimsuit, your beach bag, anything that you don't want on the ground itself, you can just pop these on a door or a wall or your, um, a lot of people decorate their cruise doors. So if you wanted to make a little banner or something, you could just hang it up with one of these as well. So this came in a package of 12. Um, so... I think it's going to work out just great. I know a lot of you guys have suggested it um, from some of the other YouTubers that I watched. So I figure I'm going to try them myself. <clears throat> so that's that. And no matter what cruise line you go on, you always get a key card. And your key card is like your access to everything on the ship. So um, 
like if you want to buy something or do something, they don't take cash or anything like that. So you use your card. And when you register for your cruise and you do all your information online, you give them a credit card. And then this way, everything gets charged um, to your credit card. So all you need is your one, um, sorry, I dropped this. All you need is your one little card. And I don't wear lanyards around my, de oh, my desk, <laughs> my neck. My husband does, but I like to have one in my purse. So I picked up this one, which is just kind of a marble one. And then it just has this little attachment on it and it can go big or small. And I liked the pink and purple marble color to it. And then this will just get attached onto here. So I can just keep it in my purse or something like that where I can grab it at any time. Um, I wanted something big enough where I wouldn't get lost in my beach bag or something like that, but this I can hang on um, to my handles of either the bag I'm carrying or something like that, and then just let it dangle inside my purse. So I have got that. Next thing is, so I do have a passport holder, <coughs> excuse me, but with, since COVID and everything, you have to carry around your COVID cards as well. And I am old school, so I know I have everything on my phone documentation wise that I need, but I also have printouts of everything because I always think, what if you're somewhere and your phone should happen to die or you dropped your phone and you broke it? You know, you need to have a backup plan. When you're going, especially if you're going out of the country, always have a plan B of documentation with you. I just feel it's so important and it's something you don't just, I mean, you may never have to reference it, but if you do, you're really glad you have it on paper <laughs> as well. So the next thing I bought was this document holder and it's a pretty pink color. It has a zip. It also has a little wristlet. If you wanted to hold it this way, I won't. Um, and it has a little pocket in the front and then you unzip it and it does have the RFID blocking. And then on the inside, I didn't put any of my documentation in here yet, but it has room for everything I could possibly need. So it has like a little change purse here if you wanted to. You could put your credit cards in here. Um, you could put some cash like for tipping in here. Your passports can go in here or in here. And then your COVID cards can go in here. They have a little spot for a pen. And they also have um, this big pocket right here. So you have lots of pockets, lots of places. And also right here, if you wanted to put some extra cash, there's also a zipper. And there's also that zipper. So <clears throat> when you go to give your passport, you can't keep it in whatever case it's in. And I have it like in a Louis Vuitton one. So I got to pull everything out then pull everything back in. So I thought this one would be so much easier because then I can just keep our passport separate instead of in one place that just opens like this and that that's it. I could put them on both sides and have any other documentation <clears throat> if I wanted to make any copies of our airline tickets or our cruise documentation or anything like that, I can put everything in here and have it in a nice zip up case. Like I said, it does have the RFID blocking on it. And then I can stick this right inside of my purse. And it does have like a little thing on here for keys. If you had some keys you wanted to put on there. But I thought this would just be such a nice thing to have um, so that I could keep everything in one place, but everything was easily, you know, at my reach. <clears throat> so I picked up that. Oh, next thing I got was these little covers for your toothbrush. And I always meant to get these and I never do. So like we were wrapping our, we would just buy a toothbrush to bring with us on the cruise and then just throw it away. <laughs> but now we can save it and, you know, wash it, sterilize it when we get home and reuse it again. And we have these little clips that go right on your toothbrush. So when you transport it, it stays nice and clean and you don't have to worry about it. And I know a lot of people use these clips and this one came in a pack of two. So I thought that that was a great deal. Picked up those. <clears throat> I also picked up a little pair of scissors and I don't, the only scissors we have in our house are like the big kitchen scissors. And I don't want to bring those with us on our cruise. So if I needed to like cut off a tag out of something or whatever I happen to need it for, I have these cute little scissors and I tried them out and they're definitely sharp comes in this nice little case so I can stick these like right in my vanity case and call it a day and I have scissors. Just some of the little things that you may not think about bringing um, but you should. So got those and next thing I got <laughs> and I thought these were so cute too and they were pink 
but these are these little like travel size bottles for your liquids. And it, they also come with like little labels. So you can label each of the containers. So they have two small like powder ones, and then they have two spray ones, two pumps, and then just two what ones like for hand cream or something. And it came in this clear case, has a nice zipper. So for travel, I think this is a great idea. Keep all your stuff in one place, keep everything labeled and organized. And that way you don't have to bring like big, huge bottles with you. You can just kind of pump in what you need. And what I like about this is that there's two of each because some things like hand cream or things like that, I might want to use two bottles for, not just one because I go through it quite a lot. So now I don't have to worry. I can bring plenty. So I grabbed those. <coughs> Next thing is um, they had it in a three pack on Amazon. So I grabbed it. So it's just um, aloe vera gel and it's like pure aloe. So in case you do get a little bit of burn, you know, sometimes, you know, you might get a little too much on your nose or on your shoulders or something like that. You know, the Caribbean sun is very, very hot and very, very strong. So I got a three pack of those. I don't usually burn. My husband will. So I got some like, it's like an after sun care, nice aloe, especially if you've been in the sun all day or in the sea, you know, you get that gritty feeling and then you take your shower and you put on some nice aloe, you'll feel fresh and awesome. So I picked those up. <laughs> Next thing was, and I got two of these. I think I only have one here right now. Or they're, no, they're both in here. So <clears throat> I bring a tote. So I bring, I'll bring my tote as a purse, and then I bring a carry-on bag, which I got from Poshmark. And then I have my suitcase. So inside of my tote, I have three of these. So these are nice kind of plastic mesh, if you will, folders. And I have three of them. They came in a pack of three. So I'm gonna put a copy of our travel insurance in one. I'm gonna put a copy of our cruise and airline in another. And then in my last one, I'm also gonna put a copy of our driver's license front and back, credit cards front and back, our passports and everything else that we should need. So that if we happen to lose something along the way, whether it's your license, a credit card or anything like that, you have all of your backup information. <clears throat> and then this way, if I have them in three separate envelopes, then I can just grab the appropriate envelope for what I need and everything will be in there. And I can see what's in it because they're kind of like a, like a plasticky clear mesh, um, which I really like. So I picked these up. I think usually I just do an open folder, but then I'm kind of ruffling through the folder and having to paperclip things. Now I just have three of these, so I can put the appropriate documentation in each one. Then I can just grab the one that I need. So I thought, nice and easy peasy. So I grabbed that. <laughs> Next thing is, and this is a big one on anybody's list, packing cubes. <laughs> so I've been trying to be more minimal. Last cruise we went on, we did carry on only, and we did it, but I have to say it was a struggle especially if you buy things and you want to bring them back with you. So this time we're bringing our larger suitcases to check and our flight is direct, so that is huge. So I just got these packing cubes and they were on, obviously on Amazon. So there's, I think there's 12 of them in here and then there are all, all the smaller ones are in one big packing cube. Now I'm gonna do a pack with me video when I start packing my suitcase so that you guys can see how nice and easy it is to use packing cubes. Highly recommend them. This is probably like my second set. Yeah, I had my first set for a few years and then I kind of overstuffed them and they tore a little bit. So I got a better set this time. And they do come in other colors. There's all different sizes. They all have a nice zipper. The zippers are very sturdy, which I love. And um, if you like packing cubes, I think these ones are gonna be a good option. I know like um, if you want, really want to go all out, Eagle Creek is a great brand to buy. Um, but everybody that I've watched, <coughs> excuse me, on YouTube so far has recommended these. So I'm going to give them a try. But this way you can roll your dresses. You can, um, you know, have a separate one for your swimsuits, your cover-ups, your dresses. Separate one for like bottoms and tops. And they even have a little packet in here for anything that you have to bring back that needs to be washed. So like if you had a wet swimsuit. Um, that didn't get to dry before you leave the ship. There's also a bag for that. 
and there's a shoe bag. So a lot of bags and you'll see them more in my video when I pack. So that's that. <laughs> and then I got, I've had this jewelry case and this is what it is. And I liked it because it was flat and it's kind of like a faux leather material. It does have a little handle, which I don't use. It has a very nice zipper and it holds a lot. Not that I have a lot of jewelry that I bring. However, I like it to be flat. I don't like a box or something like that that takes up a lot of room. I do now carry my jewelry pouch in my tote, which I carry on the plane. I no longer put it in my suitcase. Nothing's ever happened, but I just feel more comfortable having everything with me. So my makeup and my jewelry and stuff like that stays with me now. So I needed good solid pieces to put those items in. So as you can see, I've already started putting jewelry in. Let me just show you. So this is where you clip your necklaces. One of them came out because I had it upside down. But these are things, jewelry that I'm not wearing right now. So they just kind of snap in right there and then the bottom stays down there. And it has a little pouch in here. So it has a zipper, nice zipper pouch. If you wanted to put like bigger earrings, like statement earrings or bracelets, they can fit nicely in there. The night they have down here. So I have like a four finger ring. I have some just like uh, fake like rubber wedding bands. I don't know. I know what the name is, but I can't think of what they are right now. So I have that in there. And then I have, I got these tor at Torrid. They're extenders like for your jewelry. So if you get like an ankle bracelet that might be too small or a necklace that you want to hang lower, you just put on a little extension and it makes it longer for you. So it's a great kind of thing to have. And yeah, so then you can put, there's pouches back here, there's pouches in the front. You have this, let me unzip it for you. So you have like this zipper in here, which I already have a pair of hoops in. So I have my hoops in there already because I'm not gonna be wearing them. And then this way, everything stays in here. Everything stays organized. There's a spot for everything. And even if I only bring a few pieces, I still like to bring this big one with me just because I love the fact it stays flat and nothing gets, nothing has ever gotten broken or anything. And I think I'm going on my third year with this. So this was a great, great find. Mm, next thing is, <coughs> excuse me, this is just like a random little thing, but, um, so on the cruise, like I'll wear my hair in a ponytail, like a big high ponytail a lot of the times. And I just, and somebody had a picture of them like getting ready for dinner or going out somewhere on a cruise ship and they had like a scarf tied around their ponytail. So I just bought this really pretty blue and white silk scarf. Figured blue and white kind of went with all the things I was bringing. And I'll show you that scarf when it's in my hair when I do my outfits of the day. So you have those to look forward to as well. And I'm excited to do those for you because <laughs> I got quite a few new items to wear. But I'm not going to show you those. You'll have to wait for my outfit of the days to see those. There's that. And then I wanted to get, <clears throat> somebody else had this posted. I haven't even opened it yet. Had this posted and I'm like, what a great little bag. Because for dinners and things, I just like to bring a small clutch. Because really you just have your key card in there. I have like my inhaler with me, a lip gloss, a mirror, some hand cream. <clears throat> just like a few small odds and ends. And I don't like to put, um... A bag over my shoulder. I like to just have it in my hands. I don't know. That's just kind of how I am. So this one comes with a nice little sleeve. So when I pack it, I can keep it in this sleeve, which I love. But isn't this just so cute? It's just like a little straw bag. Got a snap. It also has a hand, like a chain if you wanted to wear it crossbody. So it's got plenty of room inside. It's got the little black, the little back pocket right back there it has a little um, wristlet if you wanted to use that and if this is like the lighter the lighter shade that it comes in it comes in a darker shade and i think it also comes in black but i thought this was a great little clutch bag to take with me on the ship um, every night for dinner and i i always bring too many bags with me and i'm like a bagaholic so but this time i'm really going to be mindful so i got a bag that goes with every single outfit I am going to bring. So I am bringing one bag. I'm going to try to do my best. I might have to sneak another one, 
but I just wanted one bag that will go with everything and I can just take this. This is my evening bag. I don't have to worry about it and nice and easy. It's lightweight and it's going to go with every outfit that I have. So got that. And our last item. So as I told you, my name is Tina and I'm a bagaholic. I love bags. I love luggage. I love zipper bags. I love makeup bags. I just love bags. I love to like things to store things in. I'm just one of those people. So I needed um, a new like, I call it a bathroom organizer, but it just is going to hold everything like that I use to wash my face, to wash my body, to moisturize. Um, all those things that I would do, like my razor, um, my tweezers, um, anything like that that I will need in the bathroom. So this way I'll have my makeup case, which will go on um, the desk, which I will set up as a vanity for myself. And then I got this great bag and I got it during the sale that they had. And this is the front of it. It has a little pocket in the front. And I just loved the fact that it was white and tan. I don't know, something about it just kind of caught my eye. And it's really big. And let me show you. It has a hook if you want to hook it on the door. I usually don't hang anything on the door. I just find it very distracting for myself. So I will just keep it on the counter, just like this, and then I will open it when I need it. But it does have a hook if you did want to hook it up. But look at all these pockets, guys. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's just so many. And they're all really nice quality. They have thick zippers. They can hold pretty big. Like if you wanted to bring full size, you could. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was so different from all of the other ones that I had been seeing and checking into. And I absolutely loved this one. And you see it just folds like this. And then it folds like this. And then you zipper it. And this is another um, bag that I'm going to fill with you guys when it gets closer um, to the time that I go to pack it. So you can see everything that it holds. So that is everything I got in today and a few days ago and a couple items that I've had for a while. So I hope you enjoyed this Amazon video. All the links are listed below. So if you wanted to go shop or you wanted to go check them out for yourself and see if it's something you'd be interested in, all the links are there. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.